Dragon Ball Super Episode 106 title and preview summary are here, but you'll get most of this from the preview after 105, so I'll try to keep it short. Good news for Gohan fans, we'll be seeing him get some action that even teamed up with his master, Piccolo, one of the most liked duo in Dragon Ball. I bet the fans will totally love this episode. Looks like it's gonna be a really fast-paced, action-packed episode, when Super does that, it usually turns out pretty good. Even Vegeta will get involved in their joint attempt to take down a mysterious fighter. Looks like Tien will finally be getting some spotlight. So let's go through it already. DBS episode 106, find it out. Death March against an unseen attacker. Airing date, September 3rd. Master and Disciple are targeted by an unseen attacker. Gohan and Piccolo have a tough fight against an opponent who doesn't leave a trace? Gohan and Piccolo battle Dr. Rota, but suddenly Rota is shot down by someone and put out of action? Next, the mysterious shooter targets Piccolo and Gohan. The enemy leaves no trace behind. And the shooting method is unknown. Can Gohan and Piccolo counterattack this mysterious enemy? Vegeta underestimated the enemy at first, but even he moves to defeat the attacker once he realizes the threat. Tien Shinhan this week goes to help the two out. Tien quickly realizes the pinch that Gohan and Piccolo are in. He goes to them and uses that special attack of his in a bid to determine the enemy attacker's position. So. Piccolo and Gohan have to team up to take on Dr. Rota, that small red guy from Universe 6. We don't know much about him, but I bet he doesn't have too much here power that Gohan alone couldn't handle. Rather, I think he has some kind of a tricky technique that's hard to figure out or break out of. But once broken, the fighter is totally done. Anyways, the problem is not with Rhoda, but some mysterious fighter. So who could this mysterious fighter be? We saw two Namekians in the God app, but not in action. But it's not being implied that they're invisible, just that they weren't highlighted to the audiences. Universe 4, on the other hand, has two warriors that can be considered mysterious as most couldn't see them. And Tien could only feel a faint presence. So, there's the connection. Tien was able to sense them earlier on, and now again we have a mention of Tien. So, for now, we're assuming it's those two bugs from U4 that they're dealing with. No confirmation though. What is this special attack of Tien they're talking about though? Tien's usual attacks like Tri-Beam, Solar Flare, and so on doesn't match the description here. I'm not able to remember any such attack or ability of Tien like the one mentioned here. Could it have something to do with his third eye? You know, we talked about Tien's hidden potential before, he's technically the one with the highest dormant potential among the humans. Third Eye gives him some natural superhuman abilities, but it was kind of nullified due to him staying on the dark with his original master Shen. But it has been a long time since he came to the right path. He is now one of the finest of his universe, ready to sacrifice his life for the greater good. So maybe he is now able to use it? What do you think? Another possibility could be Tian simply using Solar Flare and blinding the attacker. But in that case, they would probably mention it right away. However, I'm afraid Tien might get eliminated in the process. I would love if he got some major power boost and awakened some kind of hidden power using his third eye, but I don't think any of that is gonna happen after what they did to Krillin even after hyping him up. Comment your predictions down below, make sure to like us on Facebook for daily updates. See you in the next. Dragon Ball Super video.